Welcome back. In this video, I will explain the Watts clustering algorithm with the help of simple solid example. Hierarchical clustering is a popular unsupervised learning technique used to group similar data points. In particular, Watts method is a bottom-up approach where we begin by treating each point as its own cluster and then merge cluster in a way that it minimizes the increase in total within cluster variance. For the given problem, we need to apply Watts method of clustering algorithm to cluster the following data points. In this case, we have five data points A, B, C, D and E. Uh, once you cluster the data point, next we need to draw the dendrogram to visualize the clustering process. In the Watts clustering algorithm, we need to initialize the clusters. Here, each data points will be considered as its own cluster. Here, we have five data points A, B, C, D and E. These data points will be considered as its own clusters. In the first step of Watts clustering algorithm, we need to compute the pairwise merging cost that is delta. To find the pairwise merging cost of CI and CJ, we use the following formula that is delta is equal to cardinality of CI into cardinality of CJ divided by cardinality of CI plus cardinality of CJ into distance square of centroids. Where cardinality of CI and cardinality of CJ are number of points in each cluster. Mu i and mu j are centroids of the clusters. Distance square is nothing but here we need to find the dis, uh, Euclidean distance between the centroids and we need to square that value. The squared value is nothing but a distance square. Here all the clusters are containing only one point so that uh, cardinality of ci and cardinality of cj which is equal to 1 and centroids uh, mu i and mu j are the points themselves. So, here we need to find the merging cost by using this formula. Here, cardinality of CI and cardinality of CJ which is equal to 1. So, 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 into distance square of centroids. This will become 1 divided by 2 which is nothing but 0.5 into distance square into centroids. First, what we need to do? We need to pair these data points. After pairing, we need to find the merging cost for each pair. First, I will do the A and B pair. For this pair, we need to find the Euclidean distance which is equal to x1 minus x2 bracket square plus y1 minus y2 bracket square. Uh, here, 1 minus 2 bracket square plus 2 minus 1 bracket square. So, square root of that value is nothing but a Euclidean distance. And distance square is nothing but a square of Euclidean distance. So, square of square root of 2 is equal to 2. And uh, delta is equal to 0.5 into distance square. Here, distance square is 2. So, 2 into 0.5 which is equal to 1. Next pair is A and C. For this one, uh, the Euclidean distance will be square root of 13. And uh, delta is equal to 6.5. Similarly, we need to find the uh, merging cost for the remaining pair. Those are AD. AE, BC, BD, BE, CD, CE and DE. Once you find the merging cost for all the pairs, next we need to find which pair is having the minimum merging cost. Here we can see that the pair CD and pair AB are having the minimum cost as 1. Here we have two pairs are having the same merging cost 1. So, we need to select any one pair and we need to merge that pairs. So, first I will select the AB pair. So, I will uh, merge that pair. Then I will get the new cluster as a AB. So, after finding the cluster AB, now we need to find the new centroid. So, centroid is nothing but a 1 plus 2 divided by 2. 2 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.5 and 1.5. Here the new cluster is containing the two data points so that the cluster size is 2 and the remaining clusters are A, B, C, D and E. And for the remaining clusters we need to calculate the merging cost by using this following formula. So first I will do the pairing A, B and C. So for this one we need to find the Euclidean distance. The distance will be square root of 12.5. 
and distance square is the square of this value which is nothing but 12.5 and here we need to find the merging cost by using this formula here cardinality of ci will become 2 and cardinality of cj will become 1 because in the first cluster we have two data points a and b so that the cardinality of ci will become 2 and in the second cluster we have one data point so that the cardinality of cj will become 2 so once you simplify this one we will get the merging cost for this pair will be 8.33 and the next pair is ab and d for this pair we got the merging cost as 16.33 and for the next pair uh, for a b and v got 96.33 and uh, for c d we got the merging cost one next we will find the merging cost for the remaining pairs once you find the merging cost for all the pairs next we need to find which pair is having the minimum merging cost here we can see that the c d pair having the merging uh, minimum merging cost that is one so then we need to merge these two pairs so once you merge these two pairs we will get the new cluster as a cd so now we need to find the new centroid that is a 4 plus 5 divided by 2 and 4 plus 5 divided by 2 which is equal to 4.5 and 4.5 so this cluster is containing the two data points so that the cluster size is 2 and the remaining clusters are a b c d and e Again, we need to find the merging cost for the remaining clusters by using this formula. So, next pair will be A, B and C, D. For this one, we need to find the Euclidean distance. The Euclidean distance will be square root of 18 and distance square will be 18. And uh, we need to find the merging cost by using this formula. Here, cardinality of C, I and cardinality of C, J will become 2, 2 because in the pair A, B and C, D, in the first cluster we have two data points and in the second cluster we have two data points so that these two values will become 2 and 2 and once you solve this one we will get the merging cost as 18 and the next pair is a b and e for this one we got the merging cost as 96.33 and for a c d and e we got the merging cost as 40.33 so once you find the merging cost for all the pairs next task is to find which pair is having the minimum merging cost here we can see that a b c d pair is having the minimum merging cost that is 18 so we need to merge these two pairs so once you merge these two pairs we will get the new cluster as a b c d for this new cluster we need to find the new centroid that is 1.5 plus 4.5 divided by 2 1.5 plus 4.5 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 comma 3 and this cluster is containing the 4 data points so that the cluster size will become 4 and the remaining clusters are a b c d and e uh, we need to find the merging cost for the remaining clusters by using this formula the next pair will be a b c d and e for this we got the euclidean distance as square root of 98 and distance square as 98 and uh, merging cost as 78.4 here cardinality of ci will become 4 and cardinality of cj will become 1 because in the first cluster we have four data point a b c d so that cardinality of ci will become 4 so here we have only one pair so we need to merge these two pairs so that we will get the final merge as a b c d e so once you find the merging cost for all the pairs next we need to draw the dendrogram uh, the dendrogram will looks like this first we merged a and b with a merging cost 1 next we merged c and d with a merging cost 1 after that we merged a b with c d with a merging cost 18 finally we merged a b c d with e with a merging cost 78.4 this is how we can find the merging cost and uh, we can draw the dendrogram i hope the concept of watts clustering algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching